Have you ever heard the term Toyota Safety Sense? Toyota Safety Sense simply is a number of different safety features you're going to get on your Toyota. Now you can see where that one had the emblem of the Toyota symbol. It looked like it was completely gassed in. You're going to have a couple of radars and sensors there which tells you how close you are to a, the car in front of you. You can set the distance you want to follow that vehicle and the vehicle will keep you that distance. Now, I'm going to take you on a drive. I'm going to show you some things. Now, you will hear me say that I like and dislike it. I, I do dislike a number of things about it, which you will hear during my review of it while driving. But at the same time, it's there to break you. It can break you to a complete stop. But it is there to break you just in case the car in front of you tends to stop. We're going to jump behind a wheel and take a look at what Toyota deems as Toyota Safety Sense. This is the pre-collision warning and with pedestrian assistance as well. So let's jump aside. We're going to be focusing on the adaptive cruise control. What are you going to be focusing on? If you look right down to the right side of the wheel, I'm going to zoom back out so you can see exactly where that is. You can see my finger showing you. So if I zoom back down, I can take the tip, press it. When I press, notice it's telling me radar ready and the little icon which pops right up here. Those will display when you have your cruise control set. The radar ready simply means that's going to be the radar used to detect the object in front of you. In this regard, which is going to be cars that happen to be going in the same direction that's in front of us. So if I press one more time, and all I'm doing is pressing the tip of it to engage and disengage the adaptive cruise control. Now, adaptive cruise control automatically turns on when you turn the cruise on. It disengages when you press the brake or when you press the button here. So once I have that on with a press, as you can see, it is active and engaged. I can come back down, take this, and all I'm doing is pulling it down. That sets it. That sets primarily my speed. Once my speed is set, then the adaptive cruise control and cruise control is set. So my uh, speed will be set and the distance I want to keep the car from the car in front of me will be set as well automatically. Now, how do you adjust that? Huh, we're already there. Don't even have to move the camera. So the button here, I can press once. That is the distance I want to follow the car in front of me. There's actually three presses. You can press multiple times, of course. But there are three different settings for it. So once I press here, take a look at my icon. Now, this is the default, which is the farthest distance away. You can see the three different squares there will show up. Radar ready. Cruise is set. I'm going to press once. Default is the farthest difference distance away. So if you do nothing at all, you set your cruise, it's going to default to following the car in front of you the farthest difference distance away. If I take it at the same time and press once, that's going to get me closer and then that's going to be the closest. So you notice it's all the way down to one square now. So that's going to be the closest distance I can follow that car in front of me. And if you come here, fathers, that's about a middle ground. And then, of course, that's the closest of them all. So definitely consider that you may want to do after driving a vehicle and using an adaptive cruise control. I would suggest everyone to use the middle section here, which is going to be more of a middle ground when following that car in front of you. I definitely would not do the closest if you're not exactly fully alert because from what I notice about the vehicle, it will allow you to get extremely close while you're driving. So we're going to go ahead and try that out for you. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I dislike, but I'm going to show you how it works after it's engaged. Back behind the wheel, as you can see, I'm going to do a U-turn here. and We're going to show you how to set and activate your adaptive cruise control. So as we turn, we're going to set it and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when the adaptive cruise is in action. So let's get you turned around. I'm going to take a moment to get over here. You can see that car is going much faster than the truck. So we're going to move over. My speed is set to 70 miles per hour. We're going to take you back in. You can see 70 miles per hour. You can see it's set. We're going to zoom back out because the car in front of me just slowed down going to move you back over. Now you can see my speed which is here. 
you can see what the cruise control is set to, which is here. And you'll notice my speed is altering depending upon the car in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move back over. It's telling me I'm changing lanes without my turn signal. Car in front of me speeds up, I speed up. Notice the car to the right, it's gonna move in front of me. My car catches it and automatically slows me down. Now I'm gonna move back over and behind them because now they have speeded up. Now my car is actively going by the speed of their car with the adaptive cruise control. Just gonna zoom down. You can see where my feet are off the brake and the gas. So I'm nor accelerating nor am I decelerating. But the vehicle is moving right along by using the adaptive cruise control. Notice the car in front of me. There again, my speed is set to 70 miles per hour. You can see it there in the center. And you can see my speed over to the right. That car moves. Now my car is gonna open up and it's gonna go back to 70 miles per hour. Adaptive Cruise has been activated. I am in Adaptive Cruise mode now. My feet aren't on the gas nor the brake. Coming up on a slower car. And my vehicle begins to brake. It brakes rather early. And then of course, if you've seen, it can actually stop you. So here's another vehicle. I'm gonna zoom out. I, I don't like the way Toyotas do it uh, with adaptive cruise. Um, you have other car manufacturers out there which is more instant. Uh, they are, I, I don't feel an alert. As you can see in there twice now when it started to break me, I had to shift lanes because it was coming up on that vehicle fast to where it was still trying to get me back up to 70. That vehicle came over in front of me and there was a big delay in noticing that vehicle. Now, I'm showing you this, showing you how to engage, but if you want something where the uh, adaptive cruise actually works more effectively, Toyota is not your answer. Now, maybe this exact vehicle, maybe you have one, yours works perfectly, but this particular vehicle, there has to be a malfunction of some sort because there's a huge delay in the adaptive cruise. So you can't see anything behind my wheel because it's so bright outside. I'm gonna go back in and let this more or less play for me. So coming back, going along, and once I have my adaptive cruise set, I don't have to worry about am I speeding or not. I'm just doing what the traffic in front of me is doing. So if you're looking and you're saying, hey, I don't want to get a speeded ticket or violate, you know, um, violation or anything, Set your adaptive cruise. You're gonna follow the flow of traffic in front of you. Now the car in front of me now is going a bit slower. You're gonna notice it's gonna catch it sooner because it's in front of me and not to the side or not pulling over in front of me late. And it slows me down. I'm gonna bring you back in so you can see that. Now you can see the light is turned red. The vehicle normally would stop me, but Toyota, this is gut-wrenching awful. Normally, I'm brave enough to let the vehicle stop me, but you can see there where it was way late. Now, I know you probably say you can set that using the tool here, the button here, to create more of a distance, but I, I've done a number of different cars now, and, and that's, that's a huge delay in the vehicle. So I hope that gave you a good glimpse of how to work and how to engage your adaptive cruise control in your Toyota. This is a Toyota Avalon, so if you have a uh, Toyota Corolla, if you have a Toyota, whatever the midsize car is, the Toyota Camry, how can you forget that, right? It's one of the most popular cars. Um, but if you have one of those, that's exactly how to engage your adaptive cruise control. It's a safety feature, so definitely take time to enjoy that. Use it because you're making the...